Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my YouTube video. Um, I like to show uh, the translucency of the Asian pears and also I want to sh uh, this to be a backlit painting and based on the, the photo that I shot, I do have the backlit and but it doesn't have the exact feel that I'm looking for. These um, reference photo, they don't have, uh, they don't show the translucency that I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to have to kind of wing it. Um, but in terms of the, um, the backlit and um, the color, it's similar. So um, I do have something to go with. And I don't have the exact composition in terms of the the value structure and all that. So in some ways, I'm going to have to wing it. And typically, that's not how I paint. And before I started painting, I, uh, at that point, I, I, I have everything ready. I have my value study. And so in this one, I, I just decided to just wing it and see how it goes. And you'll find out that because I have not uh, do a lot of uh, planning, so I'm going to run into some problem, and and uh, so I thought this is something it would be fun for uh, me to share with you guys. To, um, that's what happened when you uh, don't plan everything out. So I shot this video, um, I think uh, maybe like five, six different sessions, and I sped up this, um, all the footage about four, four times faster, so um, again, here with the drawings, um, I quickly um, just did all the, like, the, just the big shapes, and um, it's not really um, like a very fine detail line drawing, and it's just based on uh, the, all the, a couple of um, reference photo that, that I, I show earlier, and so at this point, it's just, um, I'm not quite, it's not quite clear. Uh, but all I knew, uh, have to go with was just having, it was, it was a bat lid. And, um, I want that the, um, the Asian pair to have, the pair to have that kind of bat lid. I want, um, to have that translucency feel in, in uh, for these pairs, and also I want them to have that juicy looking pairs. So here I am working to um, just mark the color of the the position of these pairs, and it's not the final color. And as I mentioned before, I I did not even. Um, bother to do a a value study on this, so I just kind of start painting and and I do have the reference photo to work with, uh, but the reference photo don't really um, it, it doesn't it's not exactly what I'm looking for, so I'm kind of start out not having a clear direction of where I want to go, and the only thing to go with is the feeling uh, that I, I know what I'm looking for. So this is kind of, um, I guess, wing as I go. So it's um, just, um, um, yeah. So so you, you'll find out there's going to be a lot of problem. Um, uh, and here I am right now. I'm, I'm uh, painting the um, the leaves. The I want to add some variations in there. I want to have like a cooler, and then the. Um, uh, th really strong uh, and 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 saturated color of the the uh, of the leaves and so this is going to be the lightest uh um the uh, this is the lightest part of the uh, the composition and it's going to be um pretty intense color and then I'm um, actually start um mixing the mid tone again um using the reference photo to kind of give me an idea but um the it, it, the color is just not um it it's based on the the reference photo it looks a bit too green for me 
and especially the um, the the pair itself. I I almost pictured the pair to have more 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 of a an orange color. So so for now, I'm I'm just、um, blocking it in. I don't I don't worry too much about. Uh, having to find the exact color, and for me, it's just kind of、um, uh, if I have to modify the color later on, I'm I'm fine with it too. And and since I don't have a、um, uh, like a value study to to go with, I feel like、um, you know anything goes. I'm just kind of put some shape over here, and maybe some darker shape over there at the upper corner. So this is kind of the way. I mean, not the way I typically paint, and I just wanted to just to see how,、um, like, how this painting will unfold. And I,、um, I just kind of look at the shapes and look at what I have on the paper, and and not really、um, have a、um, like in terms of mapping out the the value structure. So this is kind of、um, at the stage where I look at what I have and just kind of、um, rely on like my experience, and also I I have some I have every now and then I would look at the reference photo and just to give me some idea the how the leaves are、uh, sh the shape of the leaves and how I can incorporate some of that into into、uh, what I'm painting right now. And as you can see with the reference photo, all the three reference photo that I show earlier, it doesn't really.、Um, it it, it gives me some idea of of the the leaves, what they look like, and but I'm gonna have to say it doesn't have the exact feel that I'm looking for. So、um, so at this point, I'm just kind of、um, blocking it in, just try to、uh, get all the. The、um, cover some of the, just all the 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 big shapes, but again, as you can see that even even th at this point, the 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 shapes are very kind of ambiguous, and and I'm kind of exploring myself, just kind of see where it's going, and and at the same time, um, uh. I think it's a, it's a good experience for me too, because oftentimes when I start a painting, I I have a good idea of where I want to go, and、um, and especially when when it comes down to having um, the um, the value structure. But in this case, it's kind of like、uh, not really. It's just kind of paint as I go, and so.、Um, Now I feel like okay,、um, it feels like everything.、Um, it's not.、Uh, it it just feels like it's.、Um, I'm a little lost, but I do have an idea what I'm looking for. So this is the the,、um, the the orange and the darker one. It's actually gonna be the the、um, the pear, but it's backlit, so you can see the. Uh, beginning to see the rim light and、um, the、uh, the color of the、um, the pear is actually going to be a little bit more、um, warmer than the reference photo, so I'm actually fine with that. I just want to, like I said, I just want to create that backlit and and because I don't have a, a particular、um, like one. Uh, photo to work with, I just kind of wing it and 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 paint and and see. This is some of the things that I kind of like. Oh, now I'm trying to pick on the little things. <laughs> and then, like I said, this is what happened when you when you don't have a plan, you just kind of um uh just kind of wing it, and it, it's just um I, I feel like I'm like、oh, um what what am I doing? What I'm going like?、Uh, this is the Um, it's not like it's it's not very clear、uh, where I want to go, but I do have a feeling.、Uh, I know what I'm looking for. I just I'm not there yet. So I'm kind of like 
trying different things and adding little details here and there. And, and uh, like I said, this is not, typically that's not how I paint. And, and, and this is actually a, a fun experience for me too. And um, so uh, at this point, I'm still trying to create that, bring out that, that backlit um, feel and so the um, the rim light it's going to be very important, and also the um, uh, to create the feeling of um, that translucency, like as if the lights hitting uh, the pairs, and then because the the skin is very like light, and then you can see the light coming through, and you can really feel that there's a lot of juice in these uh, pairs so again I just rely on that this is this is what I rely on and nothing else it's like um, again sometimes when you when you start a painting and I usually have everything like planned out and I have a good idea where I want to go but again you know uh, and also I because I have painted uh, quite a few um a pair like uh, Asian pair before, so I, I maybe I felt like oh I know what I'm doing I know where I'm going with this, and the truth is I <laughs> I just once you start it's just like anything goes you know it's it's just really I felt like I'm right now I'm just trying to um you know try to make it work you know um and and so this is. <laughs> Um, I, I as I'm paint, I'm looking at my painting. I mean, the way I'm I'm going at it, I feel like it's so. Um, I don't have um, a sense of direction. I mean, every now and then, like, oh, maybe I I like to see. How, maybe I can turn that into a foliage or something. And um, so so like I said, it's not very typical of me to paint this way and and uh, not having an overall. Uh, mapped out and and just go with it and see where um the the painting is taking me and and at this point i'm i'm okay with it too like it's not like i, I sometimes i feel like i'm i'm lost and and sometimes i i find myself focus on on things that um not as important i i feel like i'm not i'm not I'm not looking at um i'm not tr uh, i'm not getting the whole um um, composition. I'm just focused on little things, so little patches here. Oh, you know, I like that. I like that look. I'm gonna create that. I want that glow. I want that translucency. I want that that backlit feel. Again, it's just kind of going through it and and not knowing like exactly where this is gonna take me. And and you know, focus on the little details and. Um, again, I, th this is the sign of, of <laughs> a little loss. And, uh, again, I'm right now, I'm just kind of, uh, fine tuned the shape a little bit more. And, and I, like I said, it's just, um, uh, focus on the little things right now and, and, and not have a, an overall direction and, and just like I said, just rely on that one thing. So um, yeah, so and sometimes um, it's fun. Oh, sometimes it can be frustrating too. Like um, if if I'm, I know what I'm looking for, and then I I just I'm not there yet, and and because I I did not plan this out, so I I feel like oh man, like um, so where do I go from here? So it's it, there's a lot of uh, unknown. There's a lot of things that is just kind of well, see how it goes, and and so and therefore I I find myself um, just getting caught up in the little things, and 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 really to, uh, at this point it's just feel like okay, should I give up? And <laughs> so yeah, um, I I, I guess the, um, uh, this is something that that I, I learned from. Uh, not not having a, a good idea where you want to go and start the painting, and eventually, um, you know, it, it, you know, you end up suffering uh, from it. And 
it's it's pretty painful, you know, just um, just looking at this video again and trying to make it work. And again, here I'm I'm trying to add some cooler colors and. Um, I, I guess I, I was trying to uh, maybe uh, cover some of the lights, some of just getting rid some uh, rid of some of these busy stuff um, and adding more details. And again, it's just um, you know struggling. And and um, again, I, I, I it's not sometimes when you start out a painting and it, it's it's and especially when it's not planned out, it's it's just it can be. Uh, it can be, uh, you know, challenged just to to uh, even watch it again, and let alone talking about it. And um, so, yeah, so um, lots of just uh, little things and trying to um, uh, make it work. And eventually, um, I mean, I think uh, I instead of, I, I guess, I got to a point where. I just felt like I wasn't sure if if I was gonna make it work, so I believe I um, at some point I I kind of stop. I mean, still I mean I'm still trying to uh, get the smaller shapes and and um, make it uh, make the the um, the painting to work. And 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 so it's it's um, like I said, when you focus on these little um, small things and and. It's just not gonna work. I I feel like okay, um, <laughs> so so yeah. It's just uh, interesting to see that. Like again, you can see me like trying to uh, focus on the little details, and and these are the things that it's just not. It's not gonna help. I, I mean, maybe at the end it, it it helps a little bit just to having a rounder pair or. Um, but but really, it's it's not these little shapes um, doesn't really make the painting better. I felt like it it should have been um, planned out a lot better. And part of the reason is because I I want to try just to see if I I don't if I don't have a, uh, um, a clear idea uh, before I start and see uh, where this is gonna take me. And apparently, this is not um, this is not a, a smart thing to do. And but but again, it's not um, all like wasted. I, I feel like I'm I learn a lot just to um, um, you know uh, a bad painting uh, may not be. A, uh, I mean, the experience of of creating a bad painting can be. Uh, the learning, the experience of of that can be can be uh, um, something for me to uh, a valuable lesson as well. So um, again, I, I felt like I'm at this point. It's just really struggling, and 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 rely on trying to add more details and and hoping the um, the um, the painting's gonna turn. But but you know these little things won't help. I mean if you if the big things won't work, if the the structure of the uh, of the um, the composition is not working, I mean, it, it, with all these uh, nice, no matter how nice these details gonna be, it it it's not gonna make the painting look nice. So um, again, it's not a um, it's not some I would recommend uh, before you start a painting. It um, it's a good idea to to have everything like you know the 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 big things like the big shapes the the major um uh, the values uh, to work out um to make make sure all those things um work out before you you start and like i said it only taken like if 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 i if i just take another half an hour or 15 minutes just to plan out the composition do a value study I think it would make this painting uh, much better, and and again, like when you start painting, and sometimes it's just difficult. Like, um, I mean, I I should have, um, I I guess I should have just stopped, and which I did. Like, I I think um, 
uh, have more, like yeah, about halfway through, and I, I realized, wait a minute, this is not working, and I I decided to to um, to put it aside, and and uh, I think after a couple of weeks, and then I decided to to rework the the composition, and as you can see toward the very end. Um, you'll see that I, there's a lot of things change. Um, I, I grouped a lot of these um, um, sh uh, smaller shapes, and I make the um, I make the the um, I simplify a lot the the um, what do you call that the the color. Also, I I, I change the color. Um, I combine two of the pairs into one i make one much bigger and then i make the other one kind of so so basically now i i look at the finished painting i it's not so bad right now looking at the finished painting but i can certainly um you know tell you that when i was painting um it, it i was struggling quite a bit i felt like i was I was uh, lost at times. I don't know where I was going. I um, the color wasn't working out. The shape wasn't working out. And uh, but now I, I the as you can see, I make the the overall color. I I, I enhance the the uh, the backlit a lot more. I I wanted to create that backlit. I want to create that the translucency of the. Um, of the uh, pairs, and also I, 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 block, I mean, I knock out a lot of the details in the back, I simplify a lot of the the back, and make it darker. So you can see your my light tone, mid tone, and dark tone a lot more cohesive. It's not so um, uh, like all over the place because when you see when, when I was painting it was just I felt like it was all over the place and it wasn't there was not one big shape it was just it was so scattered like I felt like oh my god where where am I going with this and uh, that's what happened and and so um yeah so I, I I wanted to just to share with you guys um you know uh painting can be messy too sometimes um uh, uh, especially when it's not um, uh, well thought out. Um, so again, this is the, um, the the finished painting, and now I look at it. it it's not not too bad. I I actually don't hate it, and and I in fact I I actually the more I look at it, the the I feel like um it's not too bad. So anyway, I hope you guys like this uh, video, and if you do, please subscribe and share. I um. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to continue to uh, do more video. And if you have, um, uh, feel free to share your thoughts and your comments, okay? Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.